Are you completely sure to have a choice? Studies show that around 40-45% of all the activities that humans do in their day-to-day -day life, in reality, are habits. A habit is an automatic and repetitive behavior that everyone does in their day-to-day -day life. Many things that you think are choices, in reality, are habits. And of course, you create your own habits depending on your own experiences and on your own mindset. Your habit-making behavior stands at the core of the way that you live your life and the way that you run your business. So, this means that if you don't get your habits right, you will not reach your goals and you will not take your business to the next level. This is why it's so important, it's so critical to analyze the evolution of the habits that we all have. How are they formed? How do they get triggered? And of course, how can you use that at your own advantage? Every habit is composed of three elements. A cue, a routine and a reward. The cue is basically the trigger for that behavior to start. The routine is that behavior itself, while the reward is the feeling at the end of that behavior. And that's the key, because this is the way, the reward is the way that your brain learns to make this behavior automatic. If you want to change a habit, you need to analyze it mainly focusing on cue and rewards, as those are the elements for that behavior to get automatic. What in your environment is triggering that behavior? And how are you rewarding yourself at the end of that routine? Focusing and changing these two elements is what is gonna make it easier and easier for that behavior to unfold, as you are gonna create a different pattern, a different automation for your brain to pick it up and make it automatic. Creating positive habits will get you into a positive loop, which is going to increase your confidence, your productivity and your mindset, leading you and your business to increase exponentially your leads and your sales and to get higher success. The first thing to do is to analyze your day-to-day -day activities and find out all the habits that you may have. All of them, good ones and bad ones. All of them do exist because they provide a reward. So even a bad habit exists because of a good reason. And it's only when you understand what this good reason is that you can start working and changing this habit to something more positive. So when running a business, there are so many things that you have to do and most of the time you have to deal with a lot of work at the same time. And an example of a bad behavior in this case would be to have the constant and repetitive behavior or wait until the very last minute to complete the work, to do the things always, until the, always at the last minute, at the last second. So in this case, the real question wouldn't be how can you change all the situation, how can you change everything to make it better? In this case, the real question that you should ask yourself would be how am I rewarding myself um, to, by waiting until the very last minute to, do, to, to complete the work? Is it, is it because I, you have so much to handle too much for you to handle or is it because you're more creative when you feel under pressure so that you basically build up situation that make you feel under pressure so you need to find the real response to this and you need to be honest with yourself so that once you understand what the good reason what the reward is you can start changing completely this reward and, as a response, change the habit. So, for example, if the issue is that you're over capacity 
and you have too much to handle, the solution would be to reduce the work or to build up a bigger team so that you have it's much easier for you to handle all the work. Or instead, if the reward is that actually you're more creative under pressure and that you basically build up situation to feel under pressure, the solution to this would be to create a different kind of pressure so that you feel still under pressure but you you are not actually doing the things at the last minute causing uh, causing you lots of issues basically so for example what you can do is giving yourself false deadlines so that you keep feeling that pressure but this pressure doesn't cause you to fall every so often so understanding what reward you're giving yourself what's the good reason that it's hidden behind a bad habit it's when you start working and changing the habit so that it delivers the same reward but it's healthier analyzing your habits understanding the negative ones changing them to more positive ones will allow you to increase your productivity and your mindset you will develop to a better version of yourself exactly that version of yourself that your business needs in order to run the way you're working so much hard for. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Serendipity Marketing. If you have any questions or if you would like me to speak about a specific topic, don't hesitate to comment below the video. Once again, I hope you enjoyed and see you the next time.